What? Hot mess. It's You're in a rainy. car. Yeah. You're on a road trip. I am. And we're starting a new challenge. We are. Are you ready for this challenge? I am ready for the challenge. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's on. Like Donkey Kong. So we are getting ready now. Even though we're on the road, on our way home from Kentucky to Florida, as promised, we are starting the Beef, Bacon, bacon butter, butter, and Eggs, eggs. Challenge. Yes, and that's it. That's all we're eating. So for the next 25 slash 26 days, we're going to eat nothing but beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. Now, we are allowed to have spices. We're allowed to have bit of mustard, mustard, which is a Thank spice you, with vinegar. Uh, so here's the first meal, and then we're going to get into the rules of this, and then we're going to get back on the road. So this is our first meal on here. We're having what Chris calls a meat cookie. Some hamburger. These are all just like pre-cooked stuff that we're bringing back from Kentucky. We've got a chorizo sausage. Um, we actually have a review on them coming, but they're super clean. We've got some purse bacon. <laughs> and then we have a couple of these sausages. There's probably like a carbon in three or four of these. We each yeah. have two of them. It's leftovers from breakfast. That we hate to is. throw out. And then we do have some hard boiled eggs and stuff in the back if we get hungry again. But this is what our first meal is going to be. Now let's go over quickly. Here are the rules. Now again, we're doing this to prove a point to ourselves that we can do we it. We can do it. You don't have to do it. You don't. We're not asking anybody to join along with this. But what we are going to do is we're going to vlog and show you everything we eat for the next 25 days, which is putting a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. Now that doesn't mean we're gonna do 30 minute and one hour vlogs. They're no. gonna be quick vlogs like this, maybe a couple minutes in the morning, how we feel, here's what we eat, and then a couple minutes at the end of the day of how we feel. So you can plan on those in addition to our regular videos. Yeah. We're gonna do those as well. So here are our rules. The other reason, by the way, that we are doing this is to prove that you can eat beef, bacon, butter, and eggs as much as you want, and not gain fat, right? We're not saying not gain weight. We're this saying not gain fat. This is scary because I'm very scared. We're we're saying that we're not going to be worried about how many calories we're consuming. What we're, the scale says. What the scale says. We're not going to be concerned that we're eating multiple times a day. Yep. Just the right food eaten when we're hungry. Let's see what happens. And this is coming as a challenge from Dr. Barry who is going to chime in on our progress at some point along. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you're hitting the bell button for the notification. So the rule is this, you can eat as much beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. I, and I'm stunned because it's not really bacon. You can have any kind of pork you want. As long as it's not like glaze. No or glaze. No you sugar. can't go by ham. So if you want to have some, you know, baby back ribs, if you want to have a pork butt, but you can't have the sauce, but. you can only have the spices. So as much as you want, as many times a day as you want. And we're not counting calories. The only thing, if you want to count anything, is I want you to count the grams of protein to make sure you're getting enough protein in. Yeah. But eat till you're full. Eat many times a day. Dr. Barry said, said we can eat six to eight times a day. I plan on taking him up on that. What about you? Okay, I do. I, I'm going to try. Okay. So the other thing is you can have one cup of coffee, but no sweetener. No sweetener. Now, again, you can do what you want. He's He advised us to go 25 days without stevia, 25 days without sucralose, 25 days without any kind of sweetener. So we're going to take him it. up on that. You can obviously have salt. You can have some spices so long as they're zero carb. Now, remember, all spices say zero carb on the label. 
but they have only a serving size of a quarter of a teaspoon. So right. you're going to do Be it. Careful. Keep it at a quarter of a teaspoon. You know, don't go in there and put a whole bunch of garlic because there's, you know, carbs it's in gonna garlic. It's going to affect it. Are you excited about this? I'm excited to eat because I am a little bit like hungry. Are I'm you, ready. Are you scared? Yes, I'm. I'm very frightened to eat, and the thought of eating as much as I want scares me. We've never done this. We've never done just eat whatever you want. Now we are on the road, so we don't know what we weigh, and we're coming home from a trip. <laughs> so, so it could be bad. It could be good. So our weigh in will not start until tomorrow. When yeah, we, get we home. will weigh in when we get home, which could possibly show a bunch of weight up from being gone on the road for five days. Probably being tr transparent as, as transparent as humanly possible is probably the most scary thing yeah. about this challenge. After tomorrow though, we're going to weigh tomorrow and then we're going to do measurements. We're going to measure our waist, measure our neck, measure our chest, measure our wrists. And then that's it. There is no more scale till the end because here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get on that scale in five days and possibly see a weight increase and be like, yep, done. I want to change. I'm done. I'm not I doing this. So to prevent that, we are not allowed to get on the scale. No I'm scale. actually going to take the scale. I'm going to tell Anthony to hide it. You can't show us where it is. Yep. No scale for 25 days. Amen. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Let's eat and get on the road. Well, new state. New state. New snack. We're in Tennessee. It's about seven o'clock. And, uh, we're going to probably go until we find an exit that has a whole bunch of hotels. Right. Now, engine problem happened one more time. I do feel a little jolt, so I'm just trying to keep it right around 70 miles an hour. But I think some of it is the hills. So once we get They're out like, of going up and down. This is a Florida car. Because I think what's happening is it's like shifting in and out of like an overdrive, and that's when you're experiencing it. So as we get more into like flat land, and then tomorrow we'll go drop it off in Volkswagen. Six for $1.97. You can't beat that. You know, people say, well, what do you do when you go on the road? The proper human diet is road trip friendly. So yes. whether you're doing keto or carnivore or ketovore, we're only eating meat. Every truck stop, you're going to be able to find a hamburger and just throw out the bun. You can get a steak. You can get hard boiled eggs. You can get beef jerky. There's always something. And even though we're only eating beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, you can, hey, we can always stop and just get a stick of butter and eat that. We could. We should do that for breakfast. <laughs> Want to eat a stick of butter for breakfast? <laughs> Good morning. Our friend Bronson eats sticks of butter. He Why does. Can't we? And he's pretty cool. So we got some hard boiled eggs and we got some Redmond. I'm not going to put Redmond real salt on my egg. Why not? Because I'm going to put Redmond seasoning salt on my egg. Oh, where'd you get that? I refilled it. Before we went on the trip, I thought, you're going to love me. Is that the new formulation or the old one? Oh, it's it's the old one. Oh, it's, it's what the we old had. one? But that's, I'm not sad. If anybody does like the Redmond Seasons, although they, they, they redid the redo of the formulation. So they had it. We loved it. They reformulated it. It was good, but not as good. Well, they're back to the original formulation. So there's a link down below. I think you're going to enjoy that. Right? Like eggs with chicken. Yeah, it's so good. Look at this gorgeous rainbow. That thing is amazing. There's actually a double yeah, rainbow. There's a double. If you look right next to it over to the right, there's a second one. <sighs> We're gonna have to make this quick because I broke my gimbal. Yep. And I'm holding the big heavy good studio camera up at like arm's length and this thing is heavy. And I am holding all the humidity in the whole entire world. <laughs> I thought in you my said hair. it was only humid in Florida. It is not. So we are where? Monteagle, Tennessee. Monteagle, Tennessee. So we, yeah, we just drove until we found an exit that had a bunch of motels, hotels, and uh, this no one was tells. this one wasn't nearly as bad as coming up where we paid like hundred and fifty eight dollars a night. This one was sixty eight dollars. But book it online. You got to book it online. I went in and she's like hundred and forty dollars. I'm like online says sixty eight. She's like you got to book it online. So I had to go out to the car book it and then go back in and we got it for $68. But you know book what? It, Dano. It's clean. It's a little old, but it's clean it's like and that's me. all that matters. A little old, but clean. And we're only sleeping here for a few hours, but it, it gets us refreshed, renewed. We're going to get home. We're going to end the vlog for Kentucky Ketopalooza right here. 
How are you Wait doing so far on day one of the beef butter bacon bacon and egg? Well, it's it's been what like four or five hours, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so you know what? That's that is a victory. I think we honestly we only ate beef butter bacon and egg today, except for the breakfast that they had at Kita Palooza. I think it was turkey bacon. I, I don't think it was. I was regular getting bacon. regular bacon. All I ate was bacon. And I was sitting at a table and I was like, this don't look right. And then somebody said, I think it's turkey bacon. Okay, you know what I'm going to go with? We stayed carnivore. We tried. So we stayed carnivore. And technically... We weren't going to be on it until we were Until leaving. we got out. So, but we've been carnivore all day. So I will yeah. take that, pound that one. I'm excited. No we're gonna, sweetener. We're going to end... No sweetener. We're going to end the vlog right here. And if anything happens between here and Florida, because we got about 10 and a half hours to go to get home. So if anything happens- We win the lottery. We'll put it in a vlog. We get or we'll a pony. talk about it on Thursday's live stream, because this is probably gonna come out after the live stream anyway. And, or we'll just put it into like keto on the couch or something like that. Don't make any decisions in a hotel after, you know, a four day trip. Just- That's probably not a good we'll idea. We'll figure it out later. Good morning, it is travel day. I was hoping you were gonna do your good morning. No? I'm not all the way up yet. And well, I wonder whose fault that is. It is time's fault because we <laughs> don't know what time it is. Okay, time so is. funny story. We are in Tennessee. What time is it? Some of our devices when we woke up said it was five o'clock. Right. And some said it was six. I kept looking at my phone I, I was waking up, my neck hurt. I, I didn't have a good pillow to sleep with. So I was waking up like every two or three hours. I'm like, I, my plan was get up at six o'clock, get keto on the couch uploaded, and then we were gonna get a little something to eat and then be out of here. The goal was be out of here by eight o'clock, which according to, it, I can't get my watch to turn it on. It is 8.18. It's 8.18 on Rachel's watch. Right. But on my computer, on my phone, it's 7.18. Why? Because depending on what part of the room we are in. It's a different time zone. It's a different time zone. Now, I, n I don't think the time zone line goes through the middle of our room, but I guess our devices, because they automatically switch time zones, we must be on the border of it. Right. And it explains why it kept putting different times when we were driving, because I completely forgot that the time zone line goes straight down Tennessee, like through Tennessee and through Kentucky. And it kept going back and forth. So I'm not quite sure what time it is. Right. I just know we have about 10 hours to get home. And you don't think that's going to mess with you, right? That like what time it is? It's messing with us. I feel like that comedy skit. Like I'm cold and I don't know what time it is. I can't get is. my watch to turn on. Press the button. There we go. Okay, so my watch says 819. The phone says 719. That says 719. Okay. I, I think that if we're on that side of the room... It says 719, but this side of the room says 819. It's so weird. So basically the share song could take place here. You could turn back time. You could go over there, have whatever's going on over there. And then you're like, man, I wish we could just like stay a little longer. No problem. Back up across the room and you just turn back time. So it's day two of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. I've got a, a little something for you. Look, I went I went to go there's see There's nothing there. There's nothing on the on the buffet. Yeah, this hotel we stayed at. They said we have free breakfast. I'm like, oh, that's yes. cool. Yes. I mean, free breakfast always has like hard boiled eggs, you know, some bacon, nothing. There are, you know, like breakfast sandwiches that are frozen, but I have absolutely no, no idea. Like taking off the bread, I don't even think. We'll it's stop at work. a gas station, we'll get some hard boiled eggs. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna vlog every day for beef, butter, bacon, and egg. They're gonna be short vlogs. They're, like we said before, they're gonna just be like, good morning, here's how we're feeling. Good morning. Throw you the day, here's what we're eating, and then at night, good night. We're gonna throw the day? We're gonna throw the day. Throw it, throw out the day, there it is. So, um, but day one and day two, since we're on the road, it's gonna be one vlog. So we're gonna, this vlog is continuing yesterday. We're gonna go to the gas station, we're gonna fill up a gas. We need to get some water. Yep. And I'm pretty sure because I went there last night, they have hard boiled eggs and we're going to start the day that way. Are I'm, you ready? I'm up for it. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I just got really excited. <laughs> we, we need to get something to eat and we need gas. 
and we're driving down I-75. I'm like, oh, look, this exit. There's a Costco right here. I can tell you. It doesn't open till 10. I thought it was 10 o'clock because it's stupid time zones. Maybe if we step into a different time zone, it will be open. So, And the parking lot's full of people, but I think they're all just employees. Right. So, um, yeah, we were going to stop here and get... Uh, Whatchamacallit, I was gonna go in and get some eggs and some sausage, but since I'm here, I'm gonna get gas, cause it's cheaper. Way cheaper. And then I did see there's like a Circle K over there. I'm pretty much gonna guarantee that Circle K is gonna have some hard boiled eggs. They gotta. We're on our way home. We're supposed to film Kino on the couch, but we're uh, Okay. Oh. I got you a coffee. Thank you, this is my one coffee of the day. You gotta make it count, right? We're on the road. And we also forgot there was one thing on the breakfast buffet that we could have. Butter. Butter. So it was kind of interesting. I, we, Costco's closed. I'm not going to wait a half hour for Costco to open. I would love to wait a half hour for Costco to open. It smells good. But oh, it was like a pumpkin spice, harvest spice. You just made but, my day. And they have those machines. That's why I got you your coffee here. Thank is you. they have those machines with the grinder on top and you choose which one. So it's like fresh ground fresh right into ground. your cup. Thank you. So you're going to have that. I'm not having coffee. But I was looking. They didn't have sticks of butter. Boop. But I'm just gonna do this. Our cool, there you go. Our cooler. Oh my it's not salted. Our cooler has kept things so cold that the butter has frozen. Yeah. Already. I'm gonna, I'll put a link for that cooler down below. We don't make any money, but it's really good. So I was hoping they were gonna have hard-boiled eggs. They have a Subway in there, but I'm not eating Subway. So we have four eggs left from our trip. So we're gonna eat these. Yep. And then the next time we can find a stop that's got a bunch of stuff, we'll get that. And there, this is all stuff left from the house, but it's all stuff that we can eat. So this is hard salami, and it's just beef salami with you know the you know normal seasonings and stuff like that. So it's zero carbs, first serving. Yay! A serving size is six slices, and I think there's about ten left. So we can eat this. And we're gonna have this to get going for the day. I'm actually excited because I don't normally eat breakfast. So this is actually a it's, treat for me. This is gonna be, well, it's not even a treat. This is the next 25 days. You're gonna eat when you wake up. You're gonna eat for lunch, right? This is so Weird. hard for our for us to just comprehend. Go you ahead can and eat. eat at three o'clock in the morning if you want to eat. He's like, yeah. no, I'm not, I'm not gonna say you should do that. But he's like, as much as you want, as many times a day as you want. So we are, we're gonna eat breakfast, we're gonna eat lunch. We're gonna eat at least three times a day, but probably more. Yeah. So, okay. They didn't have any plates or anything in there. So, so I'm, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna get back on the drive the bag. And I'll let you kind of divvy out the food. I get more, right? Oh no. What do you mean no? I'm divvying out the food. I'll eat more butter. Your loved one, your My wife is multitasking. Like, <laughs> she is in Autumn's you know, live stream chat for her Monday morning, which I can't even believe she is live streaming. That woman needs to go to bed. I know. I, I was just messaging. You need your cuddliest yeah. pajamas right now. Like, go yeah. rest. And so she's in Autumn's live stream chatting while we listen to Autumn, waiting for Keto on the couch, and she's in that chat too. So proud of you, baby. I can do her. So Rachel right now is doing the premiere for Keto on the Couch. It seems cruel that we're at Bucky's and like you going in there without me. That's okay. There's another Bring Bucky's me a in 150 miles. So we're going to stop at that one so that you can go in. But I'm going to run in and see if they have any brisket ready. Uh, it's about 1030. So I'm hoping they have brisket. We're going to get some brisket if they have it. And I'm going to get some more hard boiled eggs. And uh, I don't know. I'll see. Maybe a stick of butter. Maybe we can just eat a stick of butter for lunch. What do you think? I think I'm in. <sighs> okay. We'll wait until after you're done with keto on the couch. But I got a brisket. Yeah. Fresh slice for us. Got a bunch of hard boiled eggs. And then uh, I found this jalapeno smoke sticks. And the ingredients in this are simply beef, water, salt, jalapeno powder, black pepper, ground red pepper, and garlic powder. So zero carbs. Like, here you go. I got us each a pack right. so that one. nobody fights Something. over it. We will fight. So Rachel uh, was like, we should go on a clubhouse right now. I'm like, we have brisket. Brisket first. So that's the order of life. You were a little distracted before. So I did get you 
Uh, we got, I bought 10 of these. They were a dollar 20 a piece, which I don't oh, think is nice. bad for, they said it's what, 55 cents an egg, 50, 60 cents an egg, but they're already cooked. So I got a bunch of them so we can eat as many as we want as we drive. Uh, so I bought 10 of them. The guy said they just came out. So I'm, that's really cool. Of the chicken or of the cooker? Out of the cooker. Okay. And then I found these and I got us each a package because there's five in a package and somebody's gonna fight over the extra one. Yeah, that is so smart. Yeah, just and beef, water, salt. There's jalapeno par uh, powder, black all pepper. All spices. Ground red pepper, garlic powder, and sodium nitrate, but it's still zero carbs. It's zero carbs, so I'm good with that. And then, let's see that brisket. Oh, I want the big fatty piece. Talk about something we'll fight over. Look at that brisket. Oh, and we have that mustard. Yes, oh my gosh, Claire. The mustard. There's not gonna be any mustard left when we get home, we're, but. We're, we're having to like order it on Amazon to, to have it arrive ahead of us. Somewhere I brought in forks. I don't know if they're in my pocket or if they're, I dropped them. Is that a here. fork in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? We're gonna eat. Or the brisket. I don't think I'm gonna have a hard time with this challenge. I don't think so either. We just need brisket every day. Well, good news. Oh, this is so good. Oh, did, I, look at that fat. Look at all that fat on there. Can you see that? Mm. I already called Anthony yesterday and said, do me a favor, go in the freezer. There's five briskets. Go take one out, stick it in the refrigerator so it can start to frost them. So like on Wednesday, mm -hmm. brisket. Brisket. Probably have some burgers maybe when we get home. Depends. Like this... We're eating all over a pound of brisket right now. Here's the thing. Last night we got to the hotel. We still had eggs in our cooler. Mm -hmm. We had um, pork rinds with nothing except for plain pork rinds cooked in their own fat. Yep. And I thought, it's there. And you know what? I was like, no, I'm full. Yeah. It was it was interesting. This, is, this whole challenge is speaking to my food insecurity. Right. My thought that, hey, is there something that I could have if I wanted to? And am I allowed to have it or do I need to sneak it? If you're allowed to have it. It's not fun to sneak it. It's not, there's no forbidden fruit, so to speak. Right. right? It takes the stigma out of it. Cause yeah, you can have it if you want it. And then I have to actually ask myself the question, do I want it right now? No. And it'll be there later if I do. Let's see if we feel the same way in like day 10. Yeah. I hate to say this. I gotta tap out. There's two pieces left. So maybe you can have my last piece. Oh, I'm all about it. I'm full. We had a half a pound of brisket a piece and an egg. I can't even know a piece. I am like happy full. Right, but did you think that you'd be filled with a half a pound of brisket and an egg? No. I mean, cause I can, I can put away food. I mean, go to a Brazilian steakhouse. That's my point. So I feel good. I feel completely satiated. And, um, but I don't feel like sick. You know how you would get full on carb food, but you're like, I've got to lay down. My stomach is cramping already. I, I can feel the headache coming on. It wasn't a happy full. Right. It was a fat, nasty full. It's exactly the way I would describe carb full. Yeah. It wasn't pleasant. Like you could feel the gas rising. It's just interesting to me because we already primarily eat meat. Mm -hmm. We just add in the cheese and stuff. But there's no switch for me with cheese. I right. love cheese. Stop. You can give me an entire block of cheese. I'm not going to stop eating it. I'm going to, I mean, it, the bags of cheese curds of loud trucks in between them. Yeah. So the bags of cheese curds we get from Aldi, the only thing that stops me from not eating the entire bag and it's just sitting is guilt. Yes. But it's not fullness. Right. Does that make sense? I stop because I'm way past appropriate in my right. mind. Right. Like I know this. I do the same thing with cream cheese. I can eat an entire brick of cream cheese. Or a jar of peanut butter. In a sitting, or a jar of peanut butter. I have no problem with that. I stop because I start to see the line on the side of the, the jar of peanut butter and I'm like, Rachel, you need to stop. This is not right. Right, so when I'm, I'm already, I mean again, we're a day and a half into this challenge. Yeah. 
but I'm already getting to that. He said you can eat as much as you want, right. as many times you want. And I'm starting to already feel like, I, it's not that I'm going to eat more, it's knowing that I can eat more. I think that It's this like you just need to know it's there. Is speaking into some long held problems with our relationship with food. We're, we're going back to our childhood where you would ask your mom for seconds, but when you really want thirds and fourths, you didn't want to ask. Right. You didn't you didn't want to talk about that. You you were afraid that your family member, maybe it's your grandma, would be like, oh baby, like how much are you gonna eat? Like you were just afraid of even your family members looking at you and being like, wow, they're asking for thirds and fourths. And when you got on your own and could could have thirds, fourths, I only ate first, but I ate it all the way down to the bottom of the jar. Right. There, there was only firsts in a jar of, of peanut butter or a bag of potato chips that I only needed one meal because I was finishing whatever I was starting to eat in that meal. Right. Well, I'm even thinking like when we would go to the all you can eat buffets and how much you get or even not a knock on your mom. Yeah. But I learned very quickly with Rachel's mom when we got married that when it came to a holiday or a family get together, she wants to see you eat. And what right. I quickly learned with her is when she wants to see you eat, she wants to see multiple trips back to the kitchen to get more food. Yeah. So if I had a plate mounded this high, mm -hmm. that doesn't count. I had to have multiple trips back to the kitchen. So what I learned very quickly was only put a couple of little things on your plate and I then you can make back. the multiple trips. And I feel like that now because you always want to finish your plate. Well, I think that when you grew up with financial lack, like so many generations of my family did, um, the lavishness of being able to have more than enough food. We didn't have more than enough in a lot of things. We didn't have more than enough in the bank account. We didn't have more than enough clothes in the closet. She never grew up with more than enough shoes. It was like, here is your pair of shoes, and when they break, we're going to wire them back right. on together. So there was something about being able to make a ton of food so that there was more than enough, and that became an extension of love in our family. Right. So now we need to switch that lavishness to, I have more than enough time to sit and enjoy talking to you. I have more than enough love and forgiveness for you. I don't need to attach food for it because I have more than enough generosity in my heart and capacity to love you. That's what I'm gonna have right. a lavish, overflowing amount of. I don't need to put food down your gullet right. in order to, for me to convey love to you. Guess where we're at? Well, you can go into this one. We're going to be getting home at midnight. No, why? Because Rachel is gonna be going through every single stitch of this place. We've never been to this one. To get my last Bucky's fix before we get home. Well, no more food. We didn't get any more food. You got a shirt, a couple of shirts. I did, like some fun ones for, for Thanksgiving time. Yeah. Because it's very challenging to find Thanksgiving shirts. Usually it's Turn like- Turn left. Oh. And then, Turn left. Thank you. Two lefts. <laughs> um, but I'm always excited to see shirts that don't just say like thankful. Yes. Something more than that on it. Yeah, so we didn't buy any more food because honestly, like that brisket kind of filled me up. We have a bunch of eggs in the back and we'll probably have like one of these meat sticks just because meat sticks. I am surprised that Turn I'm not. Left. Turn left, Joe. Don't I'm forget. Going to. I'm going to. I'm really surprised that I'm like, fine. I actually feel satiated so I don't need to eat when I just I want to try one of these feel meat like eating want to try is it good the Our flavor is really good flavorful not super hot but definitely a jalapeno flavor the flavor of jalapeno that's what we like about the jalapeno poppers yep turn left this is a proud wife moment it is Joe said 
you crazy girl. I cannot believe that you are gonna store all your shampoo, conditioner, your toiletries in a cooler. In the bougie RV cooler. In the have. bougie RV cooler that I got. I got a pink one or a coral colored one. He's like, what are you doing? I said, because on the way home, we will run into meat and you're gonna wanna have extra room for that meat. And he's like- How did you know we were gonna run into meat? Because we're going through Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, and they know their meats. So yes, and now we're going to Carol's Sausage and Country Store. And RV park. It's in an RV park. Which I, we might want to even come up here because it's just 40 bucks plus the 40 bucks a night gives you $10 off. That's cheaper Full than- hookup. That is cheaper than a Florida State Park. Mama knows. You Ma know. Mama knows. I admit it, you were right. Are you kidding me? Is this a Are sad day? Are you kidding me? Now I'm angry, okay? This is my favorite kind of cheese. I love cheese curds. I can't eat it for the next 30 days. What is the expiration date on? Can I buy this? And I promise I won't eat it. Sell by 1028. They have ghost pepper. They have Cajun garlic and cheddar. Tomato garlic. Look at this sign behind you. It says it's ready to eat, but, but not for you. That sign is not for you. So we are getting lots of bacon. I actually just text messaged Anthony and told them put the bacon back in the freezer because they have fresh bacon here for $7 a pound. But including these different kinds like rib bacon, which mm -hmm. he's like, it's more like a rib than a bacon. It comes from like a different part of the pig. Right. And he's got this buckboard bacon, which they make out of a Boston buck. Oh, I thought it was out of buck meat. No, I'm Boston butt. And he's like, they make it in house and they cure it and smoke it. So we're going to, I've never heard of them, so we're going to try them. Look what I found. We can't have that right now. Can't have it, but Keto Crafters Barbecue, we're gonna buy it and then maybe do a review later. 25 days. You are gonna be super excited. They've got beef short ribs. I bought 10 pounds because wow. it's literally like $5 a pound cheaper than our house. This and for awesome. every five pounds, you get 20 cents off if you buy five pounds of the same thing. And lots of bacon, lots of bacon, because here's the thing. They had their slab bacon where it's already done for less than I paid for pork belly. Look what I found. No shit. What are you doing? It's a buggy. Rachel, you're not three. I want to go for a horse ride. You have a dog that can do that for you. Easily. So we bought all the meats. All of them. A lot of meat. They're closing the sausage factory. Okay, so here's what we got. We're gonna have to rearrange our cooler. We got a bunch of beef short ribs and they have this thing called Streakoline. And so the Streakoline is like extra salty butter. Extra salty? Extra salty. Like kind of like pancetta from Italy. He's oh like, nice. He's like, it's really, really salty. People put it in stews and stuff and I'm like, we gonna eat it. Can we just eat it? Can we fry it? So we got it? a couple slabs of that. Their bacon literally was cheaper than going to the store and buying stuff. They had, if you bought the whole slab, it was cheaper than what I paid for the pork belly uncured. Oh my God. So we're gonna let ours cure for a few more days because it's only been seven days. Can't wait. And just eat all this because it was $4.50 a pound if you bought the whole slab. I mean, and the slab was like four pounds. I love how they wrap it and then also like bag it. Well, so the the back ribs, they got the beef short ribs. They didn't have any back ribs. We really wanted the back ribs. The short ribs though, we got the whole slab and they cut it exactly how you want cut. So the, the girl asked me, what are you all doing? I'm like, we're only allowed to eat beef, bacon, uh, pour, uh, butter and eggs. And she's like, why? And I tried explaining to her and she's like, really, if you eat only that, you won't get fat. And I'm like, you'll gain some weight possibly, but it's gonna be muscle, but you won't gain any fat. And she's like, can you tell me more about this lifestyle? How exciting. And she's working at she's the working perfect it. She's like, place. I can eat all the beef I want. And I'm like, yeah, so long as you're not eating any of the other junk. She's like, I'm in on this one. I love it. So we're back on the road again. That only put us an hour behind. I knew when Joe said, hey, let's stop. Let's like set the premiere for 30 minutes from now. Because we're premiering another video right now. 30 minutes from now. I'm like, there is no way that you are going to be done shopping in a meat store, an all meat store in 30 minutes. No way. Well, 
I actually, we were driving down the street, we passed it, and Rachel's like, oh, we should have stopped, but we didn't know, there was no warning that it was coming up. So I said, let's just get off on the next exit, which was like three miles, four miles down the road. We'll get off on the next exit, we'll turn around, she's like, no, you know, and I'm like, hey, what is the point of driving from Florida to Louisville if we're not gonna stop at places like this. It's not that I didn't wanna stop, it's that I knew once we got in there we were gonna like talk about whole paycheck. I knew we were gonna spend money in there. But, okay, so we spent $400 on meat, but we, we got spent. a lot of meat. We got flank steak, we got uh, we short got a ribs. chuck round rope, we got the short, we got a lot of short ribs. I mean, the short ribs by us are over $10 a pound. Here they're $5 a pound. Can't beat that. We bought um, a bunch of pork chops, uh, and, and then we went back in, we bought a nice thing to make a roast beef. We got a lot, a lot. We did. Meat. We got new hats, that's important. Very important. But I look at it this way, so we spent $400 on meat. That is less than we were gonna spend on one airline ticket. And Driving. round trip. Pays itself. We're only spending about 80 or $90 on fuel. So, in the end. We, we moved the money. To, to a different area. To our, our butcher budget. Right, well, and that's why people say, well, keto can be really expensive. Well, you can, again, hot dogs and mustard, but all we're doing is taking money we would spend somewhere else and we're putting it onto our food. Like I would have spent $7 on a Starbucks drink. Now I spend $7 on a pound of bacon. Right, good money. So in the meantime, Rachel's gonna premiere another video, a full day of eating vlog from before we went to Kentucky. I hope everybody's not sick of us yet. Link is gonna be up there. I know we said that these vlogs were like gonna be really short, but we figured day Clearly one and they two, are not. We're on the road, yeah. but day three and four are gonna be short ones with a little morning thing and then our food. But we're gonna give you a full vlog here. I'm gonna have a couple of hard boiled eggs we picked up at Bucky's, of course, with some Redmond salt. Hey, baby. Yeah. Welcome home. Florida! Lift your legs, we're here. My turn for some eggs. I'm having two of these eggs from Bucky's. $1.19. Yeah, I mean, they're already cooked. I mean, it's not as good as having fresh ones, but they when you're on the road, I, I think that they're pretty good. They're, I know they're pretty fresh cooked there. Yeah, they don't have that, like, you know, like that vinegary bagged, like something no. is preserving them flavor. But again, for, for being on the road, pretty much every gas station we have stopped at has had hard boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. Some of them are in packages. Bucky's just puts them in this thing. That's why you know they don't, they're not quite as uh, as bad as the ones that come in the bag that the stores are sticking on there. They probably have a shelf life of like three weeks. Yeah, let me see. These ones say used by September 22nd. So that's and like guys two days. They had just put them up this morning. They just put them up, so two days. <laughs> it's a new way to film in the dark on a GoPro. We attacked the kids with his golden arm. We're getting stir crazy. We were supposed to be home Slightly. by eight o'clock. Yeah. It's midnight. It is midnight. We're about 20 minutes from home, but. I have officially turned into a pumpkin. So we. It happens. Mean, well, we stopped at Bucky's twice. And then we stopped at that. We had uh, to though. The, you know, at the. What is the meat market, country I don't, store. I don't regret that stop at we all. We don't regret that stop. But then we've been driving through rain, rain all traffic. day. Then we hit an hour and a half of traffic where we, in an hour and a half to go five miles. Yeah, that was So fun. it's been nothing but delay after delay after delay, but we are almost home. Here's Yay. the sad part is, I mean, you've seen everything we've eaten. We haven't eaten that much. And I really would like to eat more, but it's midnight. But it's midnight, so it's just So like, do pointless. I really want to go home and eat, or do you want to just wake up in the morning and have a ginormous breakfast? I say wake up like in the morning. Like a pound of bacon a piece. There's my mom calling, like where the heck we are did, you? We did finish these, these meat sticks, right? So that's the only thing you didn't see us eat on camera is that we more. each had one and a half more. Oh yeah. Right, because we each had, there were five in there and we each had two and a half. Right. But that's it. I mean, we I think we figured it out. 
Like, we're way under. We're extremely under. I, I, I think it was like 80 or 90 grams of protein. And honestly, if I even ate, it would just be out of, like, I'm only thinking about eating now because I'm like, I'm are we going to get there? It's like a boredom eating. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I mean, honestly, I'm full. But I know that we're way under a protein. You know what? It's not going to hurt us for one day. Now, yeah. if you way under eat protein every day, there's an issue. But I'm figuring, you know what? Tomorrow, we'll get up in the morning. Oh. We're going to do our actual weight. Yes. That's going to be our starting weight. We're going to do all of our measurements. And then we'll have like a ridiculous breakfast. Like a pound of bacon a piece, a bunch of eggs. What do you think? <laughs> I'm in. Ready? Pound it. So we're going to end this vlog right here we so that we don't have to do it when we get home. We stayed on track. We stayed on track. I'm very excited about that. I really it's did. It's only one day in or two days in. Yeah, but I've only had one cup of coffee today. You did great. I drank a ton of water. The biggest thing missing from my day was I did truly miss my Zip Fizz. Yeah. I will say that. But I think... Honestly, I, I think we're both low on electrolytes. I think so too. Because we don't have any liquid uh, keto chow that was available to us. We have some, but it's like buried in the back. And no unflavored red meat. And so, yeah, we decided we're not doing any red meat. We probably should have just because... Yeah. Something that that would be better than not having electrolytes. But as soon as we get home, I'm gonna load up on some electrolytes. But I can feel some, you know, like cramping, cramping. in my in my calf. I especially have, sitting here for 14 hours. But we have been eating a lot of salt. We have been eating a lot of salt just to like at least have that. But you know, not not the potassium and the magnesium. Yeah, my that. back is definitely got some cramping, and I've got like a pillow shoved in the small of my back right now. Yeah, but almost home. Now, again, let us know down in the comment section, are you following along in this? Are you participating? Again, no, like, it's not mandatory to participate no. in this. We're doing this for our own reasons, but let us know if you're joining us. Uh, if you've made any modifications, maybe you're still having some stevia, which is perfectly fine. Uh, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. We're stir crazy. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we have a video with creepy lighting, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.